Okay, so this one you're not going to be using your actual notes for. Okay, what I want you using are your eyes and your mind. I want you thinking about this. Couple things. Number one, these are going to be photos by Lewis Hine. He was a sociologist. Sociologists study people. He's studying people in America. Okay, he had come across all of these children workers. And when he'd tell people about it, they didn't quite believe him. Like, you know, you think somebody's exaggerating things. So he took to taking pictures. A couple things there. One I want you to think about, there's a lot of ways, if we don't agree with something, to fight back, okay, or to do something about it. So this is one way that Hine did stuff about it. I, what I want you doing today, I want you to look at the photos. I want you to think about it. Try to put yourself in their shoes. You're going to be writing some about this later, okay? So let's take a look at some of the photos that he took. All right. This is a boy. He's 12. Doesn't know his ABCs. He wants to learn, but he can't. You know, if he's working all the time. He's been in the mill for four years. Okay. You have adolescents, girls who are working in Georgia. These, so these are girls. They're working in the factory. I don't know. Maybe it's just a picture, but she doesn't look like the happiest person on the face of the earth. You know what I mean? Think about this guy. He's 12. Doesn't know how to read or write. And he's working in the factory. But maybe it's a good thing for their family. Maybe we don't think children working is a bad thing. A lot of you had seen this picture before, right? Here's kids. Little girl. Looks to me like she should be playing with the doll. Not grabbing the cloth and the bobbins out of there. Another child. How old do you think she is? What do you think her life is like working there? Look at those hands. She looks like she's been working hard. Right? There were lots of jobs that people did here in the nation's capital. Lots of kids were what we called newsies. Their job was to sell the newspapers. They're out there. Look at how kids dressed in those days. So they're going to be responsible for the money. Maybe that's something that looks exciting or fun to you. Just like in class, some of you might get tired and want to lay down and take a nap, right? Newsies fighting there. This is Wilmington, Delaware. This one doesn't look as bad to me. He's selling like ice cream. Okay, of all the jobs in there, maybe this is the one I like the best. And it's also Wilmington, Delaware, where I grew up, so I like that. Miners. Look, I, I look at these kids and their faces. And what are they covered in? You know? There's part of me that thinks once you step into that world, is there a getting out of it? They're breaking up the rocks. They're trying to get the rocks away from the coal. You're, it's moving constantly. Your hands are down in there. And you see what happens to their face. Like, look, how old do you think these guys are? Look at those faces. Everything you see there is getting breathe. You're breathing down into your lungs, too. People working in the factory. <laughs> he's got a cigar. Yeah, he's doing a grown-up job. You know? Why not? I want you to imagine that this is you. What's your life like? If this is what you're doing. Is it good? It's bad. There's got to be... What would be good about it? What would be bad about it? A 
seafood workers. Gonna be shucking the seafood. Here they're cleaning the fish all day. How old do they look? It said work began at 3.30 a.m. and they'd work until 5 p.m. All but the very smallest babies were at work. Oh my goodness. How does he look to you? So field work, so there's all sorts of different ways that people are going to be working, right? Out in the field, barefoot, picking the berries all day long. A 12-year-old boy topping beets right there. You know, begin work at 6 a.m., work until 6 p.m. with an hour off at noon for lunch. You have an 8-year-old boy, his name's Jack, right here driving a horse. This guy's already been picking berries for three years, and that's up in Baltimore, just right up the road. People selling things. The boot black. Shining boots for people. All right? Down there on your knees. Yeah, he's making money, though, right? Before they had automatic, Hoffman always loves this. Yeah, boys had to be back there resetting the pins. Better hope they don't throw it while you're back down there, right? You know, the lumber yards. You see these struggling families. People have it tough. They're all together at the table doing work together, right? So let's take a look. What does it talk about? A Jewish family and neighbors working until late uh, at night sewing garters. It's happened several nights a week when there is plenty of work. The youngest work until 9 p.m., the others until 11 or so. They're age 7, 10, 12. Lots of work going on. Do you think it's a good thing for kids to be working? Should they be doing something else? Or maybe is it something that we, should, we shouldn't have rules again? Should the government say something or not say something? What do you think? But most of all, I want you to look at the pictures, look at the faces, and imagine that you're one of them. What would your life be like?